According to an European migrant advocate Dr. Natalia Paskuix, Tegrin militia held a group of 40 refugees hostage. Then they selected 10 refugees and told them to wear Eritrean army uniforms. And the militiamen gave them knives and told them to cut breasts of women from the group. As Tigran militia men were preparing to film a scene staging Eritrean soldiers mutilating women's breasts, the refugee hostages who became actors forced to dress up in Eritrean army uniform made a daring escape in December in a new damning revelation from Tegre disclosed Friday by an European migrant advocate Dr. Natalia Paskuix. Polish European anthropologist Dr. Natalia Paskuix has been a well known name among the tens of thousands of Eritrean refugees who crossed the border to the northern Tigray region of Ethiopia since 2002. As a critic of the Eritrean government and an expertise on migration studies, she has been documenting the plight of these immigrants for years and advocating for the resettlement of asylum seekers. Since the war in Tigray broke out in November after the local Tigrayan People's Liberation Front waged a coordinated insurrection against the Ethiopian government, Dr. Paskuix's accounts have been one of the most dependable source of information. In recent weeks, she recounted several refugee witnesses from Hitsat's camp being shot at by TPLF-affiliated local Tigrayan militia and villagers. According to Dr. Paskuix's account of another group of refugees who fled from Hitsat's camp, the local Tigrayan militia held a group of 40 refugees hostage. Then they selected 10 refugees and told them to wear Eritrean army uniforms. Afterwards, the militiamen gave them knives and told them to cut breasts of women from the group. As TPLF militiamen were preparing to film the scene with their mobile phones, fighting broke out with another refugee man who attempted to escape. Others used this opportunity to escape. Some got killed. That's when the boy I spoke to got shot in his hands, said Dr. Paskuix, revealing a photo of the refugee witness who got shot. This independent account of TPLF-affiliated local militias using an Eritrean army uniform for sabotage purposes confirms previous reports of TPLF producing Ethiopian army and Eritrean army uniforms at its Almada textile factory since the middle of 2020. However, this is the first independent corroboration on TPLF's use of video recording devices to stage atrocities, or in this case commit atrocities in an effort to frame the Ethiopian and Eritrean government forces. Further evidence gathered by Dr. Paskuix showed the brutality of the Tigrayan militia was not limited to the camps, as surviving Eritrean refugees repeatedly faced more militias as they tried to make their way out of Tigray. Thousands of refugees displaced out of their camps traveled in numerous and often isolated small groups until they crossed the Tigray border into the safety of Amhara region. In one incident, refugee survivors of a previous attack by TPLF fighters were met with one Tigrayan militia after another. Survivors said some of the militia viciously raped women and then executed the women refugees, according to Dr. Paskuix. The Tigrayan militia also rounded up other refugees, altogether 80 in a gold excavation ditch. Then they threw hand grenades into ditch, killing some and injuring others who didn't survive due to lack of medical aid. The man I spoke to had to make his way out removing dead bodies which surrounded him in the ditch, said Dr. Paskuix, adding that he waited about 30 minutes until the militia left.